a classic Armenian bread from the old times of Istanbul. This Armenian bread recipe will not only be your favorite, but will also be your guest's favorite to eat all year round. Hey guys, it's Merlene here with Savvy Thoughts at SavvyThoughts.com and welcome back to another one of our video. So in today's recipe, we'll be making this classic Armenian bread. It is a delicious bread with an irresistible smell and it will become your favorite as well as your guest's favorite. So guys, to get started, we want to start off by sifting our flour and we have the full recipe on our website at SavvyThoughts.com with the exact measurement and step-by-step -step photo guide. Once you're done sifting your flour, go ahead and add in the yeast and the sugar. You're also adding in your salt, your gum mastic, as well as your mahala. Next, go ahead and mix together so that the ingredients are well combined. Once you're done, go ahead and add in your eggs as well as your lukewarm milk. Continue to mix. And as soon as you begin to mix, go ahead and set your timer to 15 minutes. Gradually increase the speed to two. Continue to mix until your dough starts to form, then add in the butter. The butter will help the dough to loosen up and it will give it that nice brioche texture. Once your dough is done mixing, add just a drop of oil to your hand so that way it will help you work with the dough. Your dough should be gummy and sticky. In a separate clean bowl, go ahead and add in just a few drops of oil. This will help the dough to not stick to the bowl as it rises. Using the fold under method, similar to the one that we use in our air fryer milk bun, shape the dough into a ball. Place the dough in the bowl and flip a couple times just so that it's coated with the oil. Cover and allow the dough to rise for at least one hour. Next, punch a hole in the middle of the dough. Using a floured surface, go ahead and shape the dough. Okay guys, go ahead and cut your dough into three pieces. Now when you're making Armenian bread, you can shape it any kind of way you'd like. You can make it into, um, into a log, you can braid it. 
cover the other pieces that you're not using. This will help the dough to not dry out. And working with one piece at a time, go ahead and start to knead for just a couple minutes. This will help the dough to um, be nice and fluffy as it bakes and it will give you the layers that we all love in our breads. Once you're done shaping your dough, go ahead and use your rolling pin. After you roll the dough just a few times, go ahead and divide it into three sections and using one section at a time and roll the dough into about six to eight inches and start to fold it to create a log. Now this shape that we're doing, we're going to braid the dough, so this is the braiding method. You'll need three pieces, so you'll need to repeat the process with the other two doughs. Once you're done shaping it into a log, go ahead and attach the ends together and start to braid your dough. I like to leave spaces in between because as the dough rises, I don't want them to stick together because then it will just become one big log as opposed to a braided dough. This will allow you to see the braid better. Next, transfer it to a tray that's lined with parchment paper. Adjust the dough as needed. Cover and allow it to rise for about 45 minutes. Now the other way that you can braid your dough is to divide your dough into pieces. In this case, we are dividing this dough into eight pieces. Be sure to keep all of your pieces the same size. This will make it easier for you when it comes to twisting and braiding the dough. And cover the pieces that you're not using to keep the dough from drying out. Working with one piece at a time, go ahead and shape it into a ball, roll it, then shape it into a log. Similar to the same method that we used before. You can make your log as long or as short as you like. It's completely up to you. Ours was about four inches long. And instead of braiding it, I'm only using two pieces to go ahead and twist the bread, leaving some spaces in between because I want to see the shape. And once you're done rolling it and twisting it lengthwise, then attach it to make a circle. Place your dough in a tray, cover it, and allow it to rise for about 45 minutes. So once you're ready to bake, Together two eggs
After whisking the eggs using a pastry brush, go ahead and apply the eggs to the dough. You can also add in shaved almond, but this is completely up to you. Next, bake your bread at 320 degrees for 25 minutes. And your bread should be a beautiful brown color. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do let me know if you have any questions when you are making your bread, if you come across any tips or tricks to make it easier for you to make this bread. It is absolutely delicious and we cannot wait for you to try it. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We will speak with you on the next video. Cheers.